right, this is fifth grade module four, lesson 25, and in this lesson we're going to be dividing a whole number by a unit fraction. Now the idea of this lesson is to teach the meaning of division rather than simply teach the students an algorithm to follow for when to divide by fractions. Oh, whenever you're dividing, you need to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. No, we're not going to just teach a rule. Instead, we're going to begin a series of lessons where students are gradually um, taught the, the meaning of division and they will develop a deep understanding of what's going on. Ultimately, they will learn that standard algorithm, but not until we have first taught the meaning of what's going on. So when we're looking at this division problem, very simple if students know the standard algorithm, but uh, that standard algorithm to, for too many adults, let alone kids, is meaningless. So let's draw a picture of what's going on so that students can um, understand the meaning of division. So when we say we're going to draw four, a couple of ways we can draw four. We can draw four looking like this, or I can draw with a tape diagram, or I can draw four that looks like this. All right, so there is a couple of different diagrams or meanings or drawings of what the representation of four would look like. Now, when it says four divided by a third, they're asking us how many thirds fits into four holes. So we could begin by figuring out, well, how many thirds fits into one hole? So we can either cut our thirds up here in the tape diagram, or we can cut our thirds down here in the line, the number line, but we can see that there are three thirds will fit into one hole. And ultimately, if we want to count all of the thirds, we can see that, let's see, there's one, two, three in this hole, one, two, three in this hole, one, two, three in that hole, one, two, three in that hole. So each hole has three thirds. So that makes 12 thirds in four holes. So we could just take the four times by the three and that gives us 12. So there are 12 thirds in four holes. So if four is one third, what is the whole? And the answer is 12. Another way to see this problem right here, if four is one third, what is the whole? Another way you could say that, or draw a picture of that, is you could draw a whole. and it says 4 is equal to 1 -third. and here's 1 -third, and here's 1 -third. so this whole thing would represent one whole and they're saying that 4 represents 1 -third, which means this is also 4 and this is also 4 so we could Multiply 4 times 3 to get that one whole is equal to 12. So that's another way we could think of this problem right here. So it says to divide and then multiply to check because, of course, if you're dividing, the way to check if you're right is to multiply. All right, so let's... Let's begin with problem A. It says 2 divided by 1 fourth. Now, the directions don't say that we have to draw a number line, uh, but I am going to draw a number line. Oh, well, actually, I'll draw a tape diagram. Let's draw a tape diagram. So here is my tape diagram to represent 2. So here's one hole, and here is one hole. So there is my tape diagram for the number 2. And then it says, well, how many fourths are in two? Well, we know that there's four fourths in one hole, which means there's four fourths in another hole, 
which means a simple way to get that is to do 2 times 4 gives us 8. So 2 divided by 1 fourth is the same thing as 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. So the answer is 8, and you can see it right here. Now, how, do we, how would we check? How would we say, okay, if we say that 2 divided by 1 fourth is equal to 8, how could we check our work? Well, you take 8, multiply by 1 fourth to see if we equal 2. So 8 times 1 fourth, and I'm going to draw a line here so we don't get confused. 8 times 1 fourth, well, we know that 8 times 1 fourth is 8 times 1 over 4, which is equal to 8 over 4, which is equal to 2. So therefore, we checked it out. It works. All right, so now let's do this 6 divided by 1 half. So again, I'll draw a tape diagram. It doesn't say we have to, but I'll draw it. First, we're going to draw 6 holes. So there's our 6 holes, and we can begin by if we wanted to, we could call this a number line. Draw this a number. Draw the number line. Sorry, I was having a hard time speaking. And here is our number line to represent the tape diagram as well. And we're wondering how many halves are in six holes. Well, you can see that in one hole there's two halves. In another hole, there's two halves. In another hole, there's two halves. And you can see that I'm drawing it in the tape diagram and on the line, the number line. And then, how many halves are in six holes? Well, we can count down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Each hole has two halves. So a quicker way to do this, instead of doing 6 divided by 1 half, we could just say 6 times 2, because each hole has two halves. So the answer is 12. How would we check it? Well, we're going to do 12 times a half to see if it equals 6. So let's do that. So 12 times a half does it equal 6? Well, we know that 12 times a half is 12 times 1 over 2, which is 12 over 2, and 12 halves equals 6. So our answer checks out. And that is how we could draw pictures to represent the division problem. Now, ultimately, we're going to use the standard algorithm, but right now we're drawing pictures to build understanding. And the last problem for this video, a principal orders eight sub sandwiches for a teacher's meeting, and she cuts the subs into thirds. So we want to know eight divided by one third. It says, and she puts the mini subs onto the tray. How many mini subs are on the tray? Well, we've started to learn that we could do, this is saying how many thirds fit into eight. Well, we know 3 thirds fits into one hole, so 8 times 3 equals 24. So we know that the answer is there's 24 mini subs. Now, we could draw the picture. Let's draw the picture. And we're going to draw, we're going to begin by drawing 8 whole sub sandwiches. So there's our eight whole sub sandwiches, and she cuts each one of these whole sub sandwiches into thirds. So one, two, three, and then I'll do it in red. One, two, three, 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 and one, two, three. Oh my goodness. So how many? thirds did we get? Well, there were eight holes. Each hole got cut into three pieces, so eight times three is 24. A couple of ways to think about this problem. 
And that wraps up fifth grade module four, lesson 25, where we begin the process of learning that standard algorithm of division. But in this lesson, we're simply dividing a whole number by a unit fraction.